Hello, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. If you're looking for some good reading material, there's a woman about 100 and something years ago. Her name is Hannah W. Smith, S-M-I-T-H. She wrote a book called The Christian Secret to a happy life. I don't care if you're male or female, that's a really excellent book. The Christian Secret of a Happy Life. Hannah Whitehall Smith. I would try to get the complete, original, unabridged book, or you can read it online. I've got the uh, link in the description box. You could read it online. Uh, sometimes I like a paper, you know, paper easier on the eyes and uh, but make sure you get the complete original unabridged book a lot of the so-called publishers of Christian books that are owned by Satanists for example uh, Zondervan believe it or not the largest English language publisher of religious books in the English world is owned by Harper Collins, which prints gay porn and the uh, Satanic Bible by the Church of Satan. I, I'm not saying they print this book, but I'm just saying they, uh, when they do an abridged version, they change everything. It's just not the same. But uh, that's, this book is really excellent for women. Uh, I, but I found it excellent, too. I mean, you know, it's 130-something years old, but, hey, it's just as relevant today as anything. Another really excellent book is The Pilgrim's Progress. It's written by a guy named John Bunyan, B-U-N-Y-A-N. -N. He wrote this. It's classical English. It reads sort of like the King James Bible. But he used the Geneva Bible. I believe that this book was written prior to the King James Bible. So he used the Geneva Bible as his reference. And it, it's just, if you're a, a lukewarm Christian with it's never read the Bible cover to cover, you probably wouldn't get anything from this book. But I'll tell you what, it's deep. It's really deep. I mean, it's outside of the Bible. This is one of the best books. Um, but if you're not a mature Christian, I, I wouldn't recommend this book. Now, those of you that want to do a little bit of history, there's a book called The Bible as History. And it was written in the 1950s. It was written by a German guy. His name was Keller, Werner Keller, K-E-L-L-E-R. And uh, really excellent book, the uh, second edition. I, you know, make sure you get the complete, original, unabridged versions. Matter of fact, you could probably go to a used bookstore in any major city and find these books. You know, I found books like this for, you know, you know, three, four, five dollars. And, uh, but this book, one of the things it pointed out was the uh, Bible mockers used to laugh at, you know, ah, well, the Bible says there was the Hittite Empire. Ha, 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 ha. Well, we've never found the Hittite Empire. It didn't exist. And, and using that as proof that the Bible's wrong. Well, guess what? They found proof that the Hittite Empire did exist. Oh, yeah. So, you know, uh, lived through the Nazi era in Germany. He was anti-Hitler, and uh, he was a writer. He was a, uh, an archaeologist. He was a scholar, and uh, he spent, I mean, probably half his lifetime doing the research for this book. I mean, it's just really excellent book. I... Uh, unfortunately gave it to somebody that probably didn't really appreciate it. 
I wish I still had it. I had an original 50s edition. So, what can I tell you? All right, well, uh, that's all, you know, and uh, you could probably, like I say, find these in a used bookstore. Or you can find them online. Just make sure you get the original, unabridged, complete editions of these books. Uh, they're all worth a worthy read outside of the Bible. I mean, you know, of course you got. I should you should read the Bible, but uh, you know. Uh, and those of you who say you don't have time to read, well, you know what? Throw away your television. Who cares what the kids or the spouse says? You know, get rid of it. You'll have, you'll find time. That's what I do. All right. Well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. And that's Jesus, who is Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen.